Greetings to my team of 144 all star seeds, light workers, and way showers. Hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day here on the new earth. Year one, W O N, for love has won. So there's a lot of information, codes, and activations manifesting into this realm in these days. All things are accelerating, the powers of manifestation are accelerating and many uh, frequencies are coming through at this time the the information is coming so quickly and so vastly that it's hard to keep up um, I'm trying to put out a video a day to kind of summarize what um, things that uh, have become a manifest for myself and for other star seeds and light workers <coughs> but it's definitely hard to keep up um, time is accelerating we are in the quickening uh, many things are manifesting uh, last night uh, the skies were like a violet red and this was hours after sunset and then today again there was a purple pink violet uh, colors in the atmosphere. I had the pleasure today, this evening, about an hour ago, uh, to speak with M from DeepDisclosure.com. He is working with the White Hats and the Alliance to help all of humanity th uh, through this shift. Now, um, uh, he and I and his team will be collaborating on a couple projects here in the near future. They're preparing for the Seventh Seal Summit in Sedona. Um, we talked about the funds being released in the near future for all humanitarian efforts and also about the sovereignty of America and the human race and the law of the land. So I'll be putting out um, a lot of information that he will be transmitting to me from his team, uh, from the Alliance, and from the ground crew that's uh, working with these uh, quantum energies and quantum fields, new technologies, and the uh, secret space programs. So a lot of this is going to be revealed in their Seven Seal Summit, so I highly recommend you know check out DeepDisclosure.com. I will be... Um, promoting this event that will be this year in Sedona and then um, I'll be transmitting whatever information that uh, M and his team uh, transmit to myself so look for those in the future um, thank you all for your support thank you for sharing uh, your experiences in these challenging and interesting strange times uh, we're definitely uh, have jumped to a new timeline or what we call a parallel reality. It might be subtle for some, but it might be very evident to others. So you know, let us know in the comments below about uh, your experiences. And thank you for joining us here. Thank you for, uh, for shining your light into this realm. Now I want to share a quick update from Grace Solaris. That's uh, Grace and then S O L A R I S Solaris. About the shift that we're in. <clears throat> After the last massive reset and the energetical quarantine, we have entered a new galactic vector parallel to the third dimensional Earth coexisting on a higher vibrational octave. It is pure crystalline fluidity, galactic plasma, orgasmic flow. Resistance will bring up turbulence in your energetic field and express itself through anxiety, tension, and nervous energy. Your central nervous system is now attuned to the new frequencies of light of the 5th, 6th, and 7th dimension and above. If you manage to surrender to the flow, you will become one with the pure Sophia Christos plasma field of unity. You will witness yourself as being an instrument of the divine. 
tapped in, tuned in, and fully aligned with the cosmic forces working through the one source and multiple expressions, getting out of the way, meaning letting go of all attachments to certain outcomes Certain answers, certain realities will enable a full surrender to grace offered each present moment, always in honor of the higher plan and outcome for all. This is our new playground and stage for materializing miracles, abundance, joy, and creative solutions to the new heaven that we all came here to manifest. However, to play in this field, nothing less than divine sovereignty is demanded which means applying our ability to master our vibration and synthesize with our higher expression and divine purpose ongoing. Our own divine cities, or sidas, you know, S-I-D-D-H-I-S, and take responsibility as co-creators. Now, one interpretation of cities is um, uh, gifts, divine gifts or divine powers. When anxiety troubles you, face it, make friends with it, and offer it your hand to walk through the rites of passage, which is what they are, to your greatest potential. Now is the time where we are encountered with our greatest fear, namely the fear of our own divine might, power, and the miracles that we can achieve through applying it. Trust you will not fail. There, that is not even an option. If you trust in your inner heart knowing, love and trust is the key to the freedom of surrendering fully to her will. The divine feminine is now in charge and hold the ministry as keeper of divine truth and will reign through divine unified love, hand in hand with the divine masculine. Yes, she is raw creative power, a divine might that no longer tolerates to be submissive or discredited. It is her time to go center stage and reign from the heart of one, from the womb of love, from now on all that violates this law of one is doomed to fail. Only divine truth shall blossom in the garden of the new heaven on earth, and so it is. Uh, that is from Grace Solaris. I am Paul from primedisclosure.com hope you have a beautiful and blessed day wherever you are in this realm on this beautiful Gaia earth much love and blessings beautiful beings of light